there are some additional modeling requirements or restrictions that we need to deal with when we're using Surge 2000 and I'd like to illustrate those uh, with this example. Uh, and these are differences between uh, say KY Pipe 2000 and uh, Surge 2000. Uh, as far as check valves go in the uh, KY Pipe program they can be anywhere in the line and they just prevent reverse flow. But for Surge a check valve has to be associated with an active valve and so what we would have to do if this were a surge model is change this check valve to an active valve and put in some information dealing with a check valve. In other words I would have to enter in that there's a check valve. That would then allow flow in this direction but not reverse flow. Uh, closed lines uh, in Surge 2000 uh, looking at a closed line uh, as it's done in KY Pipe 2000 uh, is not really acceptable. We have to uh, close that line using an active valve. So basically uh, uh, Surge 2000 will assume all the lines are open uh, unless they have an active valve that's closed. So in order to close this line first I would uh, remove this close sign and I would add an active valve. I'd insert an intermediate node and then change that to an active valve. And then I could close that active valve if I select that valve and I close it. So that would uh, show the, the way that we need to handle closed lines in Surge 2000. Now Surge 2000 will handle regulators as a resistance, a constant resistance. So based on the steady state solution for this regulator uh, it will determine what the flow rate is and what the head change is and convert that to a resistance which would be like an active valve at a certain setting. Now we won't be able to change that setting if we want to we should go ahead and put an active valve in, specify the resistance and then specify a change in the resistance. Pumps, uh, for this pump in Surge 2000 uh, there's not assumed to be a check valve because uh, in Surge 2000 if a pump doesn't have a check valve, for example if this pump uh, speed ran down uh, because of this tank you get reverse flow through the pump unless there's a check valve. So if you want a check valve in Surge 2000 you have to go in select that pump and indicate that there's a check valve in there and give it the information that's required. So these are four items that we have to deal with uh, a little differently in Surge 2000. Again if there's a check valve in the line you put an active valve in and specify that that active valve has a check valve. Uh, if there's a closed line you uh, need to show an active valve in the location of the valve that's shut and shut the valve. Uh, for regulators they're dealt with as constant resistance devices and pumps don't automatically have check valves in them. If we want a check valve we have to select that pump and put in the check valve information.